Hi, my name is Stan Kiwi. Welcome to the first video of my Safer Computing series. Today, I'm going to be talking about browsers and SSL certs in general. SSL stands for Secure Sockets Layer. Alright, the web browser is arguably the most used application in everybody's computer these days. We use it for our email, we use it for our online banking, entertainment, education, and of course shopping. Imagine if your browser is being controlled by someone else. It would be easy for them to control actions or pass private information back. The threat is real and is happy, happening right now as we speak. That's the reality. So how do we deal with it? By understanding how things work. And that's what I'm going to be showing you today. I would strongly recommend using Firefox as your main browser. You can get the latest from the link somewhere below or on the site. I use the version 2 here on this video because I rely heavily on a lot of extensions and some of them only work on version 2. The menus and features may not be the same but it doesn't matter because every browser has a feature like it and I'm going to be showing you you just need to explore and look at it yourself if you're not using the same browser as I am. Alright, let's start. SSL search, secure sockets layer. <clears throat> Alright, there are these little yellow padlock icons. It's not yellow for me right now, I mean, it may be yellow for you. So, I mean, I'm sure most of you have seen it before. Alright. Alright. You see, when you have this icon enabled, it means that your information transmitted to that server is encrypted and safe for anyone that may be sniffing data from any point which your data travels. So what does it do? It provides encryption of sensitive information during online transactions. It contains authenticated information about the certificate owner. And of course, it verifies the identity of the certificate owner when it is issued. All right. You can read up on uh, how encryption works on this page. I have the link on somewhere. So companies like uh, VeriSign sells these certs to people who need encryption and authentication. For example, this site here at Ubuntu. Right? This is an added service from them to me to ensure that I, when I request a free CD, my name, email, address and other contact details are not revealed to anyone else on the internet. And in case you're wondering how you can order a free CD for yourself, no worry, I have the link for you. Alright, so basically every browser has its own settings but there should not be something that says uh, encryptions uh -huh. um, view certificates alright and authorities okay over here you can see a list of all the authorities trusted authorities and I'm sure VeriSign is one of them there, there you go so these are the people that you need to go buy your SSL cert from in order to be authenticated. All right. So now let's look at a cert. You usually do by double clicking on the padlock. All right. First, the issued to field. Right, this shows um, 
the domain name. Make sure the domain name matches the domain name of the site you are browsing. If it's different, do not continue with your transaction. Then the issued by field. This shows the authority or CA which has issued this cert. In reality, anyone can generate their own cert, but because they are not a valid authority or CA, your browser will warn you if this happens. I will show you in a bit. Then, uh, of course, comes the validity field. If the cert has already expired, you should not continue with the transaction. So, naturally, if the padlock icon is all okay, on and shiny, everything is cool. Right? Now, let's look at a site where everything's not cool. Bam! Now a pop-up appears and warns me that the cert has expired. Most people will just click OK or continue when they see these pop-ups. Please do not do that. The alert means that you need to start scrutinizing the cert before you proceed. Alright. This is an example of a cert that is invalid on all three fields. We requested securedns.net and this cert is actually for asiahomebase.com. Alright, the domain name doesn't match, and this cert was issued by themselves, meaning there is no authentication at all. And of course, it expired in 2005. If you really must go ahead, be sure to understand the risk you are taking. Well, with this knowledge, I hope I did my little part in helping you practice safe computing. I hope you find this video useful. Stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day.